Well, here she is, Hi, the Ryan. long awaited <laughs> wedding planner, Fox 7's uh, Sandra Hadley. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Good, happy Halloween. Thank you, you too. Okay, we don't want your altar to look scary mm -mm. At, at the wedding. That's what we're talking about, some good ideas for decor. Yeah, we. Have, I always show pictures on about the reception, because mm -hmm. you know, let's face it, that's a lot more fun. It's fun, <laughs> party time. I thought I'd give some tips on decorating your altar um, at the ceremony, because obviously it's a, it's a focal point. That's where you're gonna be Definitely. getting married. All so. right, well, we've got some pictures and you can kind of talk us through, oh yeah. my goodness. That's a real traditional um, altar and it was very ornate. So what we did oh. was we used a lot of fresh florals that we ended up taking about seven different types that we ended up taking to the reception later. So. What a beautiful, now the, all the chandel, all the candles all were the already candles. there. I mean, besides the floral and some, uh, what's that material that you've got kind of laced in um, it? Well, I think that was just some ribbons and yeah, so forth. Yeah, Look at your look at your location and play off of it because that was very ornate and we, so we just wanted to add some floral to it. Didn't need to do too no, much. No, not too much. All right, let's look at another example. What do we got? Uh, no pictures is what we got right now. <laughs> okay, so what if if you've got something that's just totally bare bones? What's the most bare bones you've had to work with? Well, I that's, guess this is an well that's an outdoor one and we had to create a focal point for that so we took a simple arbor and used some ferns and what didn't cost a lot. I love hanging the roses upside down. What what are they on? Is that just I it's mean, just a on, hanging on the arbor and some natural branches very just very simple and so forth and right in front of the river we use the river as a, as a natural backdrop. Well yeah talk about different yeah. from that first one we saw. Now yeah. this looks incredible. Isn't it? This was outside Wesleyan College okay. and those florals um, are all real floral. So based on that I mean it was, we didn't have any uh, cost mm -hmm. factors involved yeah. but the real key thing about that was um, we did a dance floor down the aisleway for them to walk on the grass. What, what was that, just tiles? Yeah, no, it's a dance floor. Yeah. You're like, we just brought a dance floor yeah. on the college we campus. We just made it really long and so for everyone to walk. This is a really nice church too. A lot of nice woodwork, so we use these big candelabras and so forth. And you see the ferns and the natural greenery, so you're not, you're not spending too much. And this is where you can actually use some silk florals because you're so far away. No one it can tell. You, no one can tell. So that may be able to save you some money. That's a really good idea. Do you? Have, I mean, what? Have, do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite altar you've ever done or a location? Um, a church that's fun to play with, or maybe in town or anything. You know, her on the spot. I know. <laughs> There's a lot of great Catholic churches. Catholic churches usually go all out. Yeah. On, um, St. Ben's is beautiful. St. Mm -hmm. Mary's is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just you walk in, you're like, wow. And, you know, I like St. Anthony's as well. But it is a challenge to, you know, personalize every time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just showed her pictures of my best friend who's getting married. So I'll have to show you and get the okay on her altar decorations absolutely, as well. Absolutely. All right, well, some good ideas and, you know, just to decor in general. Thank you. Really. Thanks so, so much, Sandra. We'll see you next week. We'll see you after a quick break.